All right, boys and girls, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Roblox desktop app, which has now rolled out to, I believe, everyone on Roblox. So I would just say let's start today's episode. So first things first, how can you actually enter the Roblox desktop app? If you try to leave Roblox now, um, it actually gives you this message right here. So this is definitely something that's kind of a little bit annoying. If I press Alt F4, I actually want to leave the game Roblox. So uh, maybe you can fix this and make me actually leave the game instead of giving me this message right here. Anyway, so this time, of course, we're going to choose back to home. So we're going to actually enter the Roblox desktop app now. I think it's not supposed to look like this. So there's one thing I want to point out. The loading times are actually not that bad right now. Earlier it took very long to load, but this time it was actually really fast. So this is definitely quite impressive. And there's a few things I would like to point out. So first up, of course, the good things. Um, loading times really seem to be improved on. So the catalog, as an example, loads really well, to be honest. And I also really like that you have your avatar right here. You can move it around and everything. Um, there's some boundaries, of course. You cannot just leave the screen or anything like that but it's pretty cool to be honest if you click on an item it's actually going to be put on the character of course you can take a look at it you can rotate it you can zoom in and everything so honestly this seems like a pretty good change and i kind of prefer this over the default roblox catalog that we have on the web page so definitely thumbs up from me another thing that is also very positive is that the loading times for the catalog seem to be heavily improved so if we just scroll right here it just loads extremely fast and honestly i'm very happy about that surprisingly enough the same applies for the avatar editor and this is definitely kind of a problem at least for me on the web page so normally when I try to go through my accessories on Roblox it takes ages to load and I have to be very careful when scrolling otherwise the entire page is just freezing and doesn't load any more items and this is actually gone now with the Roblox desktop app as you can see this is fully gone it just loads the items it's decently fast so I really don't have any issues with that and the loading times like I said they're definitely improved on and it's just really nice to be honest like it doesn't just freeze on you and it just doesn't break so this is definitely receiving a thumbs up. So those are the positive things now of course let's talk about some of the things that kind of bother me at the moment. So first up of course let's talk about the user interface. Um, This is definitely something that I'm personally kind of bothered by and maybe some other players as well so on the left it really just looks like the mobile app to be honest and I don't understand why they put the three dots right here instead of just adding all of the other icons as well to this bar right here there's plenty of space for Roblox why did he decide to split it up like this it just seems kind of awkward to me and also I think they should actually add the text back especially for brand new players who don't necessarily know what the icons mean it would be very nice so uh, Please Roblox, maybe add the text back and then of course add all of the other icons as well so you don't have to click this button right here just to get to your inventory as an example or to create or to the block. Um, other than that of course I gotta say I kind of like this design and the overall layout. It is very similar to the web page of course so I don't really mind it. Another thing that I wanted to point out which I don't really understand why it doesn't display the Robux right away so you have to click on it first to actually see your Robux. Um, a bit weird to be honest especially because they did do this for the catalog right here here. It would be very nice if they could just change that. It is a very simple change and it's just a bit weird why they decided to not display the Robux right away. And I don't think it is because I have zero Robux. Um, Alright, so I just gave myself some Robux and it's still the same as you can see. We have 10 Robux now, so please fix this Roblox. Other than that, of course, I gotta say, overall I'm pretty happy with the desktop app. Um, it actually looks pretty clean and I don't really mind it to be honest, so good job Roblox. There's actually something I forgot to mention which I definitely wanted to point out. Roblox still hasn't added the advanced avatar feature to the desktop app right here, so it's a bit unfortunate. Normally on the web page of course, you can scroll all the way to the bottom of a category and then get the advanced avatar feature. So you can wear multiple items of the same category, as an example multiple back accessories. As you can see right here it isn't possible on the desktop app, you cannot just wear multiple items of the same category, which is pretty unfortunate. So hopefully they're going to implement something for that in the near future. I think it would be very nice overall. And yeah, this is definitely something I wanted to point out, which is still a downside to this. If they can actually adjust those things that are kind of bothering me, I'm definitely going to be using this a lot more. Other than that, of course, um, I think it still can receive plenty of changes and improvements in the near future. And I really hope that's going to be the case for it. Anyways, thank you very much for watching today's video. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay hydrated. And I will see you, of course, in the next video. Bye, guys.